Tesla opens all supercharges in the Netherlands to everyone. February 15, 2022. Tesla has officially opened all of its supercharges in the Netherlands to other electric vehicles. Meaning EVs from any manufacturer can utilize Tesla's supercharging infrastructure for a charge. Tesla formally opened a pilot program for non-Tesla EVs to charge at Tesla supercharges in November 2021. The pilot program gave drivers in the Netherlands the opportunity to charge their non-Tesla EVs at Tesla supercharges in 10 locations Sassenheim, Appeldoorn-Oost, Meerkirk, Hengelo, Tilburg, Duiven, Brooklyn, Naarden, Eames, and Zwolle. The program then expanded to other locations, including France and Norway. However, these programs are still limited. Tesla announced earlier today that the Netherlands supercharges are now available to every non-Tesla EV source re-posted and summarized from Joe E. Klender at Tesla RT. My take this should allow more supercharges to be built which will benefit everyone. Tesla has around 1,046,80 battery cells already made. February 15, 2022. Tesla has about 1,046,80 battery cells at its manufacturing facility at Cato Road. Fremont, California. The source said the batteries are awaiting shipment to Giga Texas for Model Y production. With certification to be completed soon. The Tesla Roadrunner project at Cato Road. Which develops, test produces, and produces 4680 battery cells introduced in 2020. Is under scrutiny. However, no one has been able to get at least some details about what is going on there. Except for the occasional non-volumetric and superficial comments from the company's management. Now, for what seems to be the first time ever, more details about the object have emerged. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take Telsa will be ready to hit the ground running when they start volume production. Tesla factory in Prum, Germany is already completed. February 15, 2022. By acquiring Groman Engineering, an engineering company and car supplier in 2016, Tesla has taken a strategic step forward. The manufacturer has built a new building in Prum, where the company is likely to produce machines for the production of advanced motors for the Model SX and Roadster. Tesla Automation GM. B. H. is a German engineering automation company based in Prum in the state of Rhineland Palatinate. The product portfolio includes machinery for the production of microprocessors and memory chips, airbag sensors and power steering controllers, as well as systems for the production of car doors and roof seals. Lithium-ion battery cells and modules. Among other things, the company manufactures robotics that are used in the battery and electronics production for Tesla. In May 2021, it became known that Tesla Automation in Prum began construction of a new building. The new construction is on the other side of the road from the existing building. The company has now completed construction. According to a new video from the site. At Humpy Dumpy 2. Twitter visited Tesla Automation and shared a video showing great progress in construction. Source reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. My take Tesla knows that the focus should be on the machine that builds the machine. Car carrier full of Tesla Model Ys. Spotted leaving Giga Texas. February 15, 2022. Tesla has not announced it has received the final certifications required before it can begin delivering Model Ys. Made at Giga Texas. In a sign that day could be just around the corner. A car carrier full of newly built Model Y performance SUVs was spotted leaving the factory this morning. Captured by drone operator Jeff Roberts. A total of eight of the electric SUVs were loaded up for a trip to an unknown destination. Unlike a previous sighting of newly built Model Ys, outside the factory last month that were almost all blue. It appears Tesla's full lineup of paint options was included on this truck. But what makes the sighting most interesting is that they have protective wrapping on the door handles. And at least one of them has protective wrapping on the rear bumper. A good indication that these are heading to a Tesla delivery center somewhere in the US source reposted and summarized from Darren John at Drive Tesla Canada. My take good news. Let's get that Texas ramp up going and make some great cars.